Six Grady Eats and Excursions here. We're on 108 Chase Road. We're at Salsa's Burrito Grill. And we're gonna see uh, what they have to offer us. This is, this is family owned with their own recipes and own unique style. They have great, great food. So let's go inside and see what they have. Nick Spade Eats and Excursion never stops. Whoa. Wow, Salsa's Burrito Grill. I got a newborn baby burrito in my hand. Bark of beef, which is pulled beef. Corn salsa, it's got cheese. It's got the homemade hot sauce in here. And it's got flavor. Hope. This is Gerato's. This is a must have soda. Every time you get a burrito, quesadilla, taco, anything that related. Look at this thing. Whoa. Step away. See, look at that beef. Messy burrito, but a good burrito. I don't think breath. It's early in the afternoon. It's about one o'clock. We ran into this spot. Me and the director, we had to stop. I'm a burrito lover. I hope you guys are burrito lovers. Salsa's burrito in Port Smith, Rhode Island. I know the season's end to go to the beach, everything like that, but if you put a sweater on, you can take a nice little walk. Come down with your kids, your grandkids, have yourself a burrito. It's Nick's Great Eats, and we're out of here. Hey, you already know who it is, it's Nick's Great Eats. We're here at Tremblay's Cafe on 514 Park Ave. We have here the peach infused habanero wings. They don't have no batter on them. It's just the skin, they're very crispy. They look very good. We're gonna dig in and we're gonna see what we got. Let's take this one. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, these are good. You might want to know, why do you keep picking good places? How do you know these places are good? I Google search everything, and I make sure whoever has the highest rating in anything, pizza, wings, seafood, desserts, cafes, whatever. I go to them, and I really see if it's worth it. And as soon as you walk in here, it's got an old Russia look. The place has actually been here since 1943. Yep, 1943. Boom. We're here, we're having chicken wings. These are peach infused habanero sauce. Very delicious, very delicious. Mm. I got a 12 piece. Um, 10, 11 bucks. Very worth that. Very meaty. Um, And they're just all around good wing. These are award winning wings. So, me, I guess you're not lying. Also, football season, so I hope everybody comes down on Sunday and gets that some peach infused habanero wing. I'll see you later on next Radio and Excursions. We're in Portsmouth, Rhode Island, 954 East Main Road. We're at this little cafe slash ice cream shop. One side's an ice cream shop, one side's a cafe. So we're gonna get something from the cafe and we're gonna get some ice cream. Let's hope everything's homemade here and fresh. I don't know if it is. I've never been here. So you don't know if you don't try. So let's go on in and see what they got. You know, we ran into this uh, cafe sandwich ice cream shop. I asked where the ice cream came from after she was making it. It's not homemade here. It's made in a uh, Milford Mass, I think she said. Um, but the, the uh, muffins are homemade. This is a blueberry muffin. Lately toasted, you can see the toast marks with um, butter. I mean, the, the ice cream's not homemade. It's only cookie dough and strawberry. Bananas, pineapples, the chocolate, a couple cherries, and some uh, whipped cream. The muffin, though, don't have that. 
that muffin feel. It tastes like more like a like a cake muffin. Um, and for the money, I don't really I don't really think it's worth it. So honestly, this might actually be my first place that I'm gonna say this don't get the next stamp of approval. This muffin was actually three fifty, and this was like eight bucks. That's fine, but the muffin. No, honestly, I don't really like it. Too spongy, too cakey. Don't have that crumbly feel as a muff as you would eat a muffin. I mean, this is the ice cream's decent, you know. It's good, but for the money, I wouldn't come. Bring the kids and stuff like that. Ice cream is decent though, it's not bad, it's just not homemade, it's not made in house. And we're looking for things that are made in house, that are homemade. We're not looking for stuff from companies. We're looking for stuff that's made with quality, not in a factory, but machines and stuff like that. Hands, the finest, finest of materials of work when you're cooking is with your hands, not a machine. So, I don't give this next stamp of approval. Um, the Google reviews were decent, but like I said, I can't really go by what that is. This is me telling you, but don't get the next time for approval. I'll get you next time on the Trade It's Excursions. We're on 880 East Main Road. Ooh, it looks like it's getting warm. Who we got here? We got the meatball sandwich. Homemade meatballs. Mmm. The sauce is oh nice and savory and delicious, thick, not thin. This is a great sandwich. Big meatballs. You can tell these are real meatballs. Just how the texture is. Oh yeah, that was delicious. We're gonna be moving on. The meatball sandwich, you guys are in town. Meatball sandwich, provolone cheese on top. This is a hit. I swear, if you don't like this sandwich, I'll give you money back. Again, half meatball, half cheese. Sicilian style pizza. It's those homemade. 24 hours in advance though. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. You're gonna take one though. I'm gonna take one for you guys. Mmm. Mm. That is mad good. Hot right off the oven. Mixed gravy is couldn't be more happier. For the sandwich and the pizza, half meatball, half cheese, Sicilian style, together was um, about $27 in tip. Cheese is gum, not drinking. This is an overall good pizza. We're on our second episode. Mm, look at that. Nice thin sliced meatballs. Because it's fresh, it's authentic. And I do give this a stamp of approval. We'll be um, going to our next spot in a few. And uh, stay tuned and see where else we go. This is where we are tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this is kind of like a family restaurant. You know, bring the boyfriend, the girlfriend, the kids, husband, wife. You know, it's a little more fancier today. We're slipping the pizza tonight. We're skipping the pizza. Go. Now we got here some steak tips with some mashed potatoes, brown gravy, and onion rings. I know randomly you got onion rings, but that's what we got right here. Onion ring. 
Is everything okay? Yeah, we just honestly, we're just shooting a video. Just because food's good. Oh, okay. So I'm just making sure it was okay if it was on video. Nah, you're good. <laughs> Very awesome. Have a good night. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, so we're here. Um, we're eating uh, steak tips, bistro steak tips, onion rings, and uh, it looks like they have uh, red bliss mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Very creamy. Very good. I'm glad I picked a good spot. A bit of brown gravy. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Mm. That's good eats right there. Mama. We're on 980 East Main Road in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. We're eating. We're having a good time. I hope to see you guys here. If you do come here, post a picture on my Facebook page. Or uh, if you see me, send it to my messenger. My thing's always open. I'll welcome anybody to commenting. I'll answer everybody's questions. So I uh, hope you catch you next time on Nick's Great Eastern Discourages.